make a lot of sense. I can understand why they wouldn't have them. And then there's others that I honestly have no idea why they don't have. So let's start with the... Okay, I, I always do that with the double capitalizing the things. The Woozles. They don't have that. Um, I don't know if who... I mean, you know, who remembers the Woozles? I do, but... Uh, it's, it was an animated cartoon, it was actually before Gummy Bears, so it was kind of, um, I think that's possibly the issue, is that, you know, it wasn't part of that Disney afternoon, it was on some other channel, that I, I, I'm not sure what channel, like NBC or CBS, so maybe some of them, you know, some companies like that own the rights. In a similar vein, let's try Ewok, and this is kind of interesting, because it shows up Return of the Jedi, the new Yoda Chronicles Escape from the Jedi Temple, uh, so... I think, like, it knows maybe, I don't know about this Lego Star Wars one, but Return of Jedi, it has Ewoks in it. So that's maybe why it shows up with that. But, so we don't have the Ewok cartoon, I doubt, we don't have the droid cartoon. Again, I could see that was on some channel, you know, it, who owns the rights to that, who, you know, or the complete rights. Maybe there's some rights Disney has, some, uh, they have droid tales, but not droids, the animated cartoon. Uh, but they don't have the movies, and again, I understand that was, I think in the U.S., the Ewok movies were originally uh, TV movies, and then I think theatrically in uh, other countries like Europe. So possibly Disney Plus will have it, like in the U.K. or Netherlands or somewhere, they'll have those because they're theatrical, maybe. Uh, I can't promise that, although let's see, Tucker. Do they have Tucker? I didn't even look up... Um, yeah, I don't think they probably do. I, I don't think they do. Um, yeah, like they had Turner and Hooch, which I'm pretty sure that's not from Disney, but from uh, Fox. I mean, you know, yeah, uh, Fox. So there are some that are like, um, oh, there's a good one. Mighty Ducks. This is an interesting thing about this, is you go to Mighty Ducks, and let's go to Mighty Ducks 2. I know I looked at Mighty Ducks 1, and it was the same situation. Um, I'm not sure about the dates, so I want to see the dates. Mighty Ducks. It shows they have the Mighty Ducks, but, oh yeah, this is, it's a different date. So, it shows that, oh, we don't actually have it now, but it tells you when it's going to have it. So, yes, they have the rights. They're going to put Mighty Ducks on. It's not going to be for a while. The uh, If you want, the first Mighty Ducks comes out in 2020. 20 in like July or something but yeah this is not until 2021 but I appreciate they told me that so you know if they were going to get you know the Ewok shows maybe or what woozles or whatever they could tell us oh it's not going to be out till then then there's ones that I don't even know why in the world they wouldn't have the rights to like Condor Man like there's no reason they wouldn't have the rights. Who has the rights to Condor Man? Like, other than Disney. Whoever would have wanted those rights. And they don't have it. Why they don't have it, I don't know. Um, I think Summer Place? I don't know. There are some other... There are definitely, in general, some old Disney shows uh, that a lot of people don't even know. Uh, my mom really likes Summer Place, that's why. Um, I think that was the name of it. I think that was... Well, I know there is a movie, Summer Place. I think... No. Pause, this one I liked. Pause it. No return. Yeah, I don't think they have. There's a lot of more obscure uh, old movies that they don't have, which is really surprising. Like I said, who has no deposit, no return? Nobody has those rights. And even if they did... You know, again, that was definitely by the Disney company, you know, film, you know, and it was in the movie theater. Oh, Monkeys Go Home. I'm pretty sure that is not on here. Yeah, yeah. Who has those rights? Nobody has the rights to Monkeys Go Home but Disney. I'm pretty confident. And even if they did, they could just do the Mighty Duck thing and tell us, hey, no, we don't have it. It'll be up at this point. Here we see Miracle... At midnight, and I think that's a good one to go with, because that is another er area I see they don't have. So let's go. Uh, so before the Disney Channel original movies, they had these Disney premiere movies. Mr. Boogity, I think technically was not one of them. I believe that was on like the Magical World of Disney. So that was on like ABC, NBC, one of the main stations. Uh, so the weird thing is they have Mr. Boogity, but they don't have the Bride of Boogity. I actually prefer Mr. Boogity. It's shorter, but it's more tight. This is a 
a movie that I watch every Halloween. There's certain shows. I have a couple uh, Boy Meets World Halloween episodes. Not all of them. Not the one with the werewolf. I hate that one. It's dumb. But um, The Witches of Penbrook, and then there was Sean, and then uh, Nickelodeon had a Mark Summers holiday uh, uh, Halloween special. And and those are my... I always watch them on Halloween. Uh, Bride of Boogity, I'm like, sometimes I'll watch if I have time, but obviously I'm, I'm wasting my time watching Boogity and <laughs> Boy Meets World episodes. Uh, so, you know, I, I, um, I get... I'm surprised I have... You know, I think that The Bride of Boogity was a Disney premiere movie, or it was, like, only on Disney. So I, I don't know why Bride of Boogity is not on there, if Mr. Boogity is on there. Uh, but then there's a lot of, like other shows like that like let's try the night train i'm not even they're not gonna have this right they don't yeah i've already looked a lot of this stuff they don't have night train to cat man do they don't have um i'm not i don't even i'm just gonna say not human because i'm not sure i'm not gonna spell quite right uh the not quite human uh human series there's three of them they don't have that any of them um that was one i really love they don't have chips the war dog they don't have uh, friendship in Vienna, like, hardly, I didn't even try, but let's try Four Diamonds, uh, the weird thing is they do have on Amazon, for instance, they have Tom and Huck, um, we're back to Hannibal, The Adventures of Tom, sorry, uh, that, that was it, The Adventures of, because there's Tom and Huck was one of those movie things, I did have a Tom and Huck movie, um, I probably do have Tom and Huck, that was in the theater, so, so that's, uh, yeah, they do have Tom and Huck, no, it was, uh, Back to Hannibal, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Let's just do Back to Hannibal. Um, they don't have that. So a lot of these Disney premiere movies, pretty much it was like the, you know, before the Disney Channel original movies, that was what they have. Um, that was what they had. Uh, and they, I remember saying as a kid, like, they were like movie quality shows you might see in the movie, at least, um, you know back then. I mean, some, like, I was watching some of them now, and the pacing's slow, and, um, the video, I mean, because it's from the 80s, it was from TV, I'm, I'm sure, too, watching it now, like, on YouTube, or wherever you can find them, in some cases, you know, even if you have, like, like, I have the Not Quite Humans, because I had the VHS, and then we converted the VHS to a, a DVD, uh, so it's like a transfer, but again, I'm sure we probably lost some of the quality, so you don't get to get that stuff. Same thing, like, MMC, um, or even tried, oops, Mickey, <laughs> see, Miracle at Midnight, I think, was possibly a, one of those premiere movies, I mean, the Million Dollar Duck, see, why do they have a Million Dollar Duck, but not, you know, no deposit, no return, uh, Mickey Mouse Club, uh, they do have, oddly, one season of the Mickey Mouse Club, there are a lot more seasons, uh, and they also have, I don't know if they have the full se like episodes or not, because what they, they also have, uh, let's see if we go back to search, they have like Spin and Marty, or I think there was another one they had like that, that was part of the Mickey Mouse Club show. So I understand not being able to have, did this ever catch up to, okay, whatever. Um, I understand not having, see, they have Spin and Marty. If they don't have the MMC, there's certain aspects I definitely understand why the MMC would not be on here. Uh, mostly the music. Clearly, that would be a, a pain with the musical rights. But one, they could just, you know, and, and this happens too with DVDs a lot. They have maybe one episode they have to take out because they use some music. And at the time, the rights, it was like limited to the TV thing. They didn't really have rights for streaming or rights for, you know, DVD or whatever. So they, they have to just take out one episode, or they sometimes edit episodes, uh, you know, make some edits, just take out some parts, depending on the company, depending on the release. Uh, so I get MMC, you'd have a problem with that. I and mean, you'd probably just want to, like, take out that part and just do the the rest of the show. Um, or they could do, like, they would have these little movies, you know, like weekly movies, and they could do something, you know, that was part of MMC, where it's different characters, you know, not from the main cast, they could do something like that. They could have those on there, you know, like Spin and Marty, because it was the same kind of thing. It was just like, okay, here's a separate show that's part of, you know, the show. Uh, they could do that. 
So what you're really a lot of what you're missing is some of the more obscure movies. Like I said, No Deposit, No Return, which I didn't think was that obscure. I've seen it on DVD, so I really didn't know it was that obscure. But some of those 60s, 70s uh, movies, not all of them are on there. Yeah, there's a lot of your you know big ones, Herbie, Shaggy Dog, whatever. But there's a lot that are missing. Then there's a lot of um, there are actually a surprising number of shows. Okay, oh that was another even the the 90s. So so they have so... I'm not going to spell this right, but it's going to come up anyway. Um, America's Heart and Soul. I don't know what that is. Um, so weird, right? See, I totally spelled it wrong, but it came up. That's on here. Um, okay, but what about the famous Jet Jackson? That, for some reason, is not on here. And again, uh, now there's some things like the show Flash Forward. I understand. I think that was originally on another channel. Uh, I think it was Disney made it and everything, and Disney probably owns like at least some rights to it. But I get why it wouldn't be on here, because it might have some other ownership issues. But like I said, Famous Jet Jackson, why in the world would that not be on here? Um, there are a couple other ones like that. I don't remember offhand um, what it was. I was surprised So Weird was on here. Uh, and yeah, so like that's on here, but the others aren't. I don't know if it's like, oh, more people remember this. Like, Famous Jet Jackson had, like, a Disney Channel original movie. There's, like, the Famous Jet Jackson the movie. So I don't even know why that's not on here. You know, that was part of that uh, Disney Channel original movies, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, there, there's uh, definitely what I would say that they're missing is there's a lot of, especially anything that's not straight up there. Oh, one, yeah, I see Muppets. That reminds me. So what do they have Muppets? Now, obviously, I'm not surprised that they're missing the Muppet Babies, the cartoon. That probably is an, a rights issue. They do have this junior Muppet Babies, but but you look at the movies. They have, they're, for those who know the Muppets, you're going to know, and there's actually a section that's just Muppets, and uh, I can tell you it's not in there. Uh, Muppets, we'll do the whole name. Take, I'm just going to say take. Muppets take Manhattan. They don't have that. Why? I have no idea. Um, but they don't have it. So, I'm also kind of curious about any of the other Jim Henson movies. Like, do they have the rights to, like, The Labyrinth or any of those things? Or is it just The Muppets? I'm not really sure. Uh, but I don't think they have, like, I ha actually haven't looked. I have no idea how to spell Labyrinth. I should just search Dark Crystal or something easier. Um, yeah, I will do that. Of course, I'm not sure who, you know, paid for that. Um... I don't know. Let's try something wicked. I don't think they have... Yeah, they don't have something wicked this way comes. There are um, a lot of shows that I was really surprised like they don't... It's weird because I could see something wicked this way comes being maybe too scary and this is more family friendly. I get that. But they have like the Return to Oz, which to me is probably scarier. Uh, there's another one that was like something wicked... Um... Another scary one, and they didn't have that. Uh, I don't remember offhand. But so, I'd say there's definitely some movies, and some that I don't think are that odd compared to, you know, like, okay, Condor Man, I see that not being on here. That's, like, who remembers that? Who cares? But there are things, like I said, I think there are people who really like something Wicked This Way comes. Um, you know, there are people... Watcher in the Woods, that was it. I think that was Disney, right? Watcher in the Woods. Um... I think it was, if it wasn't Watcher in the Woods, there was another one I remember thinking of, and they didn't have it. There was definitely a Disney, and it was kind of a scary one. Uh, so what I'm seeing, they don't have they don't have like TV shows. Oh, and the, the another one is they don't have like the Wonderful World of Disney. They do have they have this Disney Disneyland around the seasons, and that was part of the Wonderful World of Disney. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Like, why do you have one of them? But you don't have the rest of them. Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, I like I, Some of them I know, it originally was ABC, so they should have rights to that. But then they moved over to uh, another channel. So I understand not having all of them. But, I mean, they've put those on DVD. Uh, they clearly have them in the, you know, they know they own the, you know, they have the rights. They have the, uh, the digital transfer, you know, they have it digitally put on somewhere. So they should be able to do that. Um, also, let's try a Dumbo Circus. Yeah, they don't have Dumbo Circus, so they have a lot of... So I'd say they don't have a lot of... Like, there's a lot of missing old classic movies that are... 
on some of the old shows that, you know, really early shows. Mostly what they have is like the 20, like 2000s, like late mid to late 90s stuff will be on there, 2000s stuff. But even then, like the 80s premiere shows, uh, Disney Channel premiere shows, those are mostly not on here. Uh, they're mostly not going to have even the the TV shows from like Dumbo Circus that uh, there was a Pooh Corner one, I think, or I don't remember the exact name, but it had the very similar to the Dumbo Circus show. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, early, early Disney Channel shows. There's like one Epcot kind of educational thing. There's, of course, Master Size. A lot of that stuff's not there. Uh, there was a 1970s TV show with Disney. It had Mouse Factory, I think. I'm pretty sure that is the name of it, and I don't think they... See, Miracle at Midnight, I'm pretty sure that was a premiere one. Why do you have that, but not all the others? And Boogity. Um, Mouse Factory, which Boogity wasn't technically premiere, because I think it was on another channel. It was wonderful word Disney, though. Uh, yes, or Mouse... I think it was Mouse Factory. Anyway, um, so there are a lot of, like, you know, I think if you're in the right age, there's going to be a lot missing, you know? Um, like, Generation X, Xennial, you know early, like, older millennial, uh, there's a lot that's going to be missing. And the one thing I will say about this is I think it's great for kids and families. Uh, I'm single. I don't have kids yet. I don't, I'm not married yet. So for me, I mean, there's a lot of classic stuff that I do, like, oh, cool, DuckTales. I like that. That's what I grew up with. Uh, like, my parents, I told them, I don't think this is going to be really for you, you know, like, yeah, my mom likes that summer place. Oh, it's not here. They have Davy Crockett, you know. Is it? I even asked her, are you going to watch Davy Crockett? Because they get it free with their uh, cell phone. and Or wherever. They, they're getting it free for some, whatever, they, the internet or something. I don't know. Um, she didn't even care. Like, you know, she's like, I was surprised. There wasn't that, you know, oh, yeah, I want to see it. Um, I mean, I get it. Like, I'm probably not going to watch every episode of you know, DuckTales, just because. But I'll probably watch an episode or two for nostalgia. And, you know, I have seen a lot of the, those things. They do hold up. I will say that is something that I appreciate about Disney is a lot of their shows actually hold up pretty well I, compared to... I've watched some of the other cartoons that I grew up with, you know, and, and you watch an episode and you're like, oh my goodness, I can't even watch it anymore. But, like, DuckTales. DuckTales is totally watchable, for me as an adult today. I mean, it's, you know, maybe not what I'd watch most of the time, but it's definitely great. So, uh, yeah, what they are definitely missing a lot of uh, stuff up until, like I said, I think up until your mid to late 90s, then you're getting most everything, uh, unless, you know, obviously some of the newest shows, like Toy Story 4 isn't out yet, or, uh, you know, some of the things maybe they gave the rights to, some of the Marvel stuff, but I just, like, compared to Netflix, they don't have the, you know, it's it's not like they have a lot of great adult films, and I know this is more family-based, that's the idea, but even then, I feel like Netflix, you're getting overall more. So, for now, you know, for the right audience, I think it's right, even as a big Disney fan, um, I, you know, like I appreciate it, but some of that, you know, the, being a big Disney fan is some of the arcane minutia that you're like, there is no Condor Man. I wanted to watch Condor Man, you know, and I, I actually have never, I don't think I've ever actually watched Condor Man, but I know it's existed and that's why I wanted to see it, just out of like, I'm curious. Uh, but, you know, no deposit, no return. I did watch that as a kid. I enjoyed that one. How come it's not on here? Um, you know, so, so yeah, you're, you're gonna miss, um, you know, in some ways, it's like, yeah, being the person who knows what the Woozles is, you know, means I want to actually see the Woozles. I want to be that one person who actually watches the Woozles. Again, not not like 50 episodes of it, but one or two. Uh, you know, maybe one, and then I'll realize, why did I do that? But, you know, I especially miss uh, the Disney Channel premiere movies. Those were really good. And the weird thing is that they don't... Uh, in some cases, I know I've seen... Um, you know, I've seen they have on Amazon, like they had, um, what, oh, that's how I, I have a copy of uh, Back to Hannibal from Amazon. They had a DVD, like, thing, I think it was, like, made on demand. They had a series of uh, some shows like that from the Disney Channel. So they, they have those somewhere, still around, digitized and everything, but it's not on here. I'm hoping long-term... 
they'll put more of that stuff on uh, and it would be nice if like Mighty Ducks even if they they have them and they just you know they're going to put them on someday but they don't have the rights yet just put that on there I appreciate at least you're telling me at least I know it's not forgotten oh, another one was Kids Incorporated that was another show again Disney shows a lot of early Disney shows they don't have Kids Incorporated I could see having problems because of uh, the music much like MMC but even more so. Uh, so I, I get if they're not going to ever have, uh, you know, Kids Incorporated ever, because that would just be really, with the musical rights, really hard. Uh, what about Growing Pains, too? That was a good one. I feel like they have some of those shows that are not straight Disney, but they have. That would be a, you know, like Boy Meets World. They have that. It was, like, not on the Disney Channel, you know? It was, it might have been on ABC, and that could be why. Um, but like, I'm pretty sure they own, they have the rights to Growing Pains now, so I, I would like to see Growing Pains on here. Uh, I know that was on the Disney Channel, even though that was like not the original run of it. Um, so yeah, I would like to see, there's a lot of, uh, a lot more they could have on. Um, and yeah, they, they have a lot, but you know, and mostly just time-based. I wouldn't say there's sometimes, you look at like the series, you look at all the different series they have, and definitely they don't have enough new content yet. Um, I think... It would have helped actually having everything. Look, there's like, I actually counted earlier, and there are like less than 50 shows for all their shows. Yes, you have 30 seasons of The Simpsons, but the problem is it's just not a lot of selection. Like, if you don't like The Simpsons, guess what? That's, you know, like a tenth of their, you know, like the, uh, you know, tenth of their hours of any show probably is just The Simpsons. When you have, like I said, uh, uh, computer's being dumb. When you have... 50 shows or less, uh, you know, and when they do have the shows, like I said, now that they have new shows, they, they have them, but they only have, you know, they're not all at once. So that kind of hurts it to me right now because you just don't have, like, surprisingly, oh, these are featured. Oh, that was, oops, that was why. Um, okay, maybe the A to Z had more. Um, I was disappointed, though, overall, in the um, series. Like, I feel there was a lot more you could do. So, anyway, my computer's being dumb and making me go to all this other stuff. Um, yeah, that's that's what I'd say about the whole experiences. Um, you know, it's, it's good for the right people. Uh, even Disney fans... Um, there'll be a little, I, I think it's like, oh, there's so much, but there, it's also a little disappointing to see what there isn't. Uh, so are there any of these shows that I mentioned that they don't have, or are you, are there any shows you've noticed that you liked? I mean, there are a lot of shows I didn't mention, like, every single Disney premiere. There are a lot of ones I know I could talk about, and I, you know, I didn't, heck, some of my, did I do Chips the War Dog? That's, like, my favorite. I don't think I even mentioned that one. Um, or the, the Not Quite Humans, I did mention. Those were, like, like my next favorite. But, um, there are definitely, like, a bunch of those shows, and definitely some of them are more obscure than others. So let me know if there's any that you were hoping that would be on the site that aren't, or if there's any that I mentioned you remember, like, or maybe you didn't even remember, like, at first. Like, oh, my goodness, you mentioned the Woozles, and now I remembered it. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are, and, uh, yeah, I guess that that's it for now. So thanks for coming.